Hey guys, Justin and Kayla here with Chicken and Biscuits. And today we are going to give Juliet, our Great Pyrenees, a rabies shot. And we're going to kind of go over how we came about doing it ourselves. So stick around. All right, so um, as you've seen in some other videos, we have a Great Pyrenees, and her name is Juliet. She does a lot around the farm, and we finally, um, finally think she's pretty happy now. She was digging out of the sheep pasture all the time, and we were constantly fixing fences and holes that she dug out of. So we put a portal in the barn for her to come in and out, and um, in the process, she, the first, the first little while she wandered and come back, um, she'd end up with burrs and mud and stuff all over her. She'd get in the woods around our house. Um, and then here lately, as you saw in another video, that she, uh, she was in heat. But it's time for a rabies shot, you know, besides all that. And I called a, uh, actually I text a, a friend of mine I went to high school with. I actually haven't probably seen her or talked to her in, forever but um i asked her some advice about juliet she was suffering from a, a backed up what do you call it um, Mu mucus something salivary gland salivary gland anyways it ended up busting but um you know i told her we'd probably bring her in i don't know what y'all do about giving your animals rabies shots if you take them to the vet or not she's not a very vet dog vet friendly dog she's never been to the vet we don't think she's a farm dog she's never been off the farm as far as we know yeah so. so i was in the in the feed store the other day and i saw a cabinet that said rabies vaccines and i was like you can buy rabies vaccines like over the counter so i asked her and she's like yeah i was like with the syringe and everything she's like yeah it's like how much she goes 495 i was like 495 that don't seem right, but it was. So um, we picked it up, and we're going to show you what it looks like when you buy it uh, on your own and what it comes with. So let's take a look at that. This is what they pull out of the counter, and it's a, um, it's a vial with a heart tag, and then she grabs a syringe. So you just draw it up yourself, and you just give it to the, the dog uh, subcutaneously. So this is what it looks like. And as you take it out, it's got a, um, a ring for her collar. And it's got the date stamped on the tag. Let's show them the tag. Okay, so it's got the number and the year. Luckily, Kayla and I both have um, experience giving shots She's been an RN for 20 years, 25 years. Um, I've been on the fire department for 20 years. Although my current certification is just the EMT basic, I did go to paramedic school. Uh, we won't talk about the results from that. I passed the school, but the, the National Registry deemed me otherwise not uh, smart enough to be a paramedic. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. But while I was doing my ride outs and practicals, I did um, get to give a few shots, and then while I was in the hospital, I got to give several shots. So um, it should be no, it should be a no big deal with the dog. So we're gonna get her over here, and we're gonna we're gonna get to it. All right, so she's gonna um, unpackage the the needle, the syringe, and draw it up. So you pull back on the plunger a little bit and that creates a suction inside the vial. And then pull back on the needle. And then push all the air out till it comes out the tip of the needle. Sometimes you have to you have to tap it just like the doctor shows. <laughs> Get all the air out. All right. And then we'll recap it. They tell you never to do that, but we'll recap it and get her over here. All right, so 
sub Q means it's going to be just underneath the skin. So you don't have to find a muscle. You just want to grab a big chunk of skin like that. Make sure you get the middle part so the needle don't go through, you know, into your fingers. And then have at it. Show them what to do, babe. That's it. It's a lot easier than loading her up in the truck and trying to get her to a vet, I can tell you that. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> We've tried that before, that doesn't work. Any suggestions for anybody that's never done this? Um, I would. I would try to get the dog used to you pulling up a little bit of skin. So maybe, you know, as you're petting them and loving on them, just every once in a while pull up that little bit of skin around their shoulder just so they get used to that sensation. And, um, you know, don't don't be shy. I mean, when you do it, do it. Yeah. It, basically what she means is once you grab the hunk of skin and stick the needle in, give the shot. Don't punk out. Yeah. <laughs> don't punk out. <laughs> Juliet didn't flinch i mean she barely even flinched she she raised her head but you know your dog might um react differently so they usually worst... don't feel it though i mean it's it's sub q you're, yeah you're just going in the skin right there they like i said if you get them used to you pulling up that piece of skin and um, when you're petting them it shouldn't be a problem and worst case scenario um you know just just pull it out and let them run or get away from you you might have to do it again. You might have to go back up to the co-op and get another syringe. Um, it so, loses its sharpness. The yeah. needle loses its sharpness if you do that. You definitely don't want to do that. So, like she said, when you do it, commit, do it, and get it done. Um, we're going to put the little tag on her collar, and she is vaccinated. If you see for four ninety five. Yeah. If you see them do it in the vet, they will pull up the injection with a different needle and they switch needles to give the injection. But you know, we're on the farm. We don't have that luxury. So we uh, we use what we got. Right. And um next up is our Shih Tzu. <laughs> I don't know how she's gonna act because she's a baby, but And she's little. Yeah, she's she's tiny. Um and she's pretty cool. All right, well, um, let's talk about the Great Pyrenees and what she's done for us. Um, Juliet has been a huge asset on this farm. Um, she runs off any animal that that comes in the, the, the wire, if you will. Uh, she constantly patrols the fences, and she just... She just protects the animals, and she's really, really sweet. Kids love her. She loves the kids. Um, I can't say enough good things about having a Great Pyrenees if you have a farm, if you have animals. We kind of lucked out with Juliet because we adopted her from another farm a little bit down south of us that had gotten rid of their goat herd, and so she was already trained with goats and chickens. Right. Um, but they let their goats go, and so she was getting bored and... Um, a little depressed so if they're not working they get bored and might get destructive or depressed or whatever so we rec rescued her from that farm and uh, she had to get used to our sheep we didn't have goats we had sheep but uh, it didn't take her long and once she imprinted on our animals and realized that they were her family she has been a wonderful dog very protective even of the family she the the great pyrenees are good family dogs as well they imprint on the children the uh, and the family and the herd and they protect everyone in their perimeter <laughs> yeah she's pretty cool she has a dozen or so spots that she lays in and she's always uh on the watch so if you have a farm a homestead with animals you need to really really look into a great pyrenees <laughs> and not crazy chickens <laughs> like ours do they get out absolutely will they wander yep um, that's, it's part of their nature. You're, you're not going to get around <laughs> that. Uh, there are some other guardian dogs that, that maybe don't wander and get out as much. Um, but 
but she, she we looked fits out on her lifestyle. I yeah. mean, you have to look at, there's several different kinds, um, but she, she fits us and our farm. And she might be pregnant. So we possibly, possibly, I'm not going to get too excited, but we could possibly be looking at some Christmas Pyrenees puppies. So we don't know. We don't know yet. But hey, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, we're probably going to get her fixed. I think so. It's rough. It's rough having that big of a dog come into heat. Um, and we don't want other dogs on the farm. Yeah, so. she, lets, she lets male dogs on the farm when she's in heat. She just she just loses she loses all sense of of reality. I mean, you know you know sense. women, right? Watch it. <laughs> um, all right. So, y'all, if you if you like the video, um, like our channel, just subscribe, and just come hang out with us. You never know what we're gonna do. I've got a I got a video I'm working on about the piglets, an update, and. We'll have that out soon and a couple more. So we'll see y'all soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch you next time. Bye. Oh.